Today, we're going to start on a new project, making some catch-all trays. I'm going to be making three separate trays, all with slightly different designs. We do have the plans for this available on our website, so definitely check those out there. It goes over everything in detail. I used a point roundover bit to go through the outside and inside of the tray to add a nice roundover to that top surface. I used the automatic tool changer on the Stepcraft M1000 CNC machine to pick up the 45982 3 quarter inch diameter bowl bit. We're going to go through and do a roughing pass here in an offset direction as it is quite a bit faster. Then we're going to do a finishing pass, stepping down only 0.05 inches and using a raster cut going with the grain. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and go ahead and hit that bell so that you'll be notified on all of the new videos when they're released. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Tools Today. This provides a finish that needs no sanding and you can see the chips that we're getting in there. The plans definitely cover this in really good detail. So definitely check those out so you can see how to set that cut up for yourself. So we went through and changed out for the RC-45711 90 degree V insert bit to go through and carve the design on the bottom. I really like the way that this sunflower design looks, especially with the wood. I'm using some sapili here and it definitely looks really nice with all that carved design on there. So this one is done and we can drop off that and pick up the 46315-K one quarter inch upcut bit to cut the outside profile of this tray. Then we can get all of those chips all vacuumed up. Don't worry, these things do not go to waste. I use the chips for building uh, paths and things like that in our property. So anyways, we got that one done. Now we're gonna move on to our second design. And this is gonna show you just how that auto tool changer works with picking up all of the bits. This one is going to have an epoxy inlay. So we are going to stop and not do that finishing pass. Then we'll pick up the V bit. And I have my start depth set at what the finishing pass will be. So it's carving deeper than it should right now, which is exactly what we want as we are going to be filling that with epoxy. So after that is all done carving, we'll go ahead and brush on some clear total boat two to one epoxy and get the center all filled in. That way that doesn't take up any of the color that we're going to be adding on the outside. Then we add the yellow after that has been fully cured and then we can do our finishing pass. And now you can see since we set that start depth at the finishing height, we have a perfect V carve with the epoxy inlay. Then we can drop that off, pick up our upcut bit again and then go through and cut that profile. Now the epoxy tray is done and I really like the way that this design looked. So now we can move on and do the same thing with a laser engraved version of this. So I carved this one just a little bit deeper. We did all of the cutting, then we'll get it switched out for the Stepcraft laser. We got everything all installed here. We'll get it all turned on. And then we can set our Z zero position. I am setting this on the top of the material so that way it does not run into the side of the tray or anything when moving about. But I did set the start depth at the finished depth that we have here. So that way it gets a nice accurate burn. So we went through and engraved everything and this did a really great job. And I love the contrast that it creates just off the CNC without having to do any painting or epoxy fill or anything like that. So this one is now done. We can take those over to the bench and get all of the tabs all trimmed off. And then with the laser one, there is a bit of soot that's still left and there's also a little bit of overburning as I had the laser set to full power. So I'm going to blow that all off and then I'll use a toothbrush to try to get rid of any of that soot. We'll blow it off again. And then I'll just hit it with some 220 grit sandpaper real quick and get that all sanded down. All the other trays needed absolutely no sanding, but this one with the laser engraving needed just a little bit. And I'll hit it with some compressed air one more time. And now there's no soot coming off or anything when you touch it. So now we're going to treat the bottom edges of all of these. I started with the 47306 three flute chamfer bit. And then now we'll move on to the 49543 3 8 inch radius roundover bit. And then also the MR0110 mini roundover bit to give three different profiles to the edges of these trays. Now I just need to get those edges sanded just down a little bit. So I flipped over the sander and using some 220 grit, I'm able to run the circular trays on there. This definitely sped up that process quite a bit. So now we have all of these ready to go. We use some walrus oil, cutting board oil for finish here. And one of the things with trays like this when you have engravings is that the finish all gets into that engraving. So if you use an air compressor backed with a little bit of a shop towel, you're able to blow out all of that excess finish. And that way you don't have finish piling up or drying in there and it turned out absolutely beautiful. I really like the way all three of these trays turned out and just shows using the same design, tweaking things just a little bit. You can get three totally different looks. I'm curious to know which one is your favorite. So drop a comment below, let me know. I'm gonna let Katie do a bit of a sign off here, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day, everybody. Hey Katie, what? I got something for what? you. We got you a new tray. We can Ooh. keep your jewelry and stuff like that on it. I'm
All right. We're not here today. I want to get some necklaces. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Do you like your new tray? All right. Now you, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye. See you later, alligator. At the wild crocodile. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe right over here. And for more great videos, click right over here.